Hi, year six. This is Dixon here, head of science at Hermitage Academy. I am here today to do a little bit of a fun experiment with you at home where you can use your normal kitchen ingredients and do a little bit of science magic. So today you will need two Ziploc bags. Hopefully you'll have one bigger than the other, but don't worry if not. You will need some sugar, some salt, some milk and some ice cubes. Okay, and we are going to try and make our very own ice cream. So into one of your Ziploc bags, you will need to put half a pint of milk. Okay, full fat milk is the best milk. If you have some cream or whipping cream, that will work even better, okay? Along with that, you are also going to put a tablespoon of sugar. And you can then close your Ziploc bag, give it a little bit of a mix, okay? Into your other Ziploc bag, and if you do have as large as a Ziploc bag, this is when you're going to use this one, you are going to put quite a bit of ice, okay? As much ice as you can fit into your Ziploc bag. And in there, you are also going to add eight tablespoons of salt, okay? So you need to count them. You're going to put them in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Okay, now what I would like you to be thinking about, because there was always little quiz questions in with these, is what is the purpose of the salt? Okay, so you can do a little bit of a research on that if you want, but that is your question, all right? Mix that all up, and you are then going to put your sealed Ziploc bag with your milk or your cream and your sugar inside your bag where you have your ice cubes, okay? Seal that one off just so you don't make as much mess and you are going to shake, it's very noisy, but you're going to shake it and mix it all together, okay, and you'll need to do that for about five minutes. The longer you can do it, the better, okay. If you do think your bag is leaking at the bottom, you can put a clean towel out. If you give it a little bit of a shake, I'm not going to shake mine for the full five minutes, okay, but if you give it a little bit of a shake, make sure you are mixing that salt and that ice around once you are finished, okay, unseal your Ziploc bag, find the top of your other one, lift it out, ooh, and I can already see mine starting to get a little bit thicker and I haven't done mine for very long, okay, but keep doing it, keep repeating it for about five minutes and hopefully you will get some very yummy ice cream. If you want to be adventurous, you can add a little bit of vanilla extract, you can even add some chocolate chips, make your very own flavoured ice cream, okay. So just to run through that again, You've either got your cream or your milk with a little bit of sugar in one Ziploc bag. You've got your ice, eight tablespoons of salt. You put your milk or your cream inside, seal it up and mix it all together for about five minutes, okay? What I would like you to think about, like I said before, is what is the purpose of the salt? So why did I add the salt to the ice cubes and why would that help us make ice cream? If you want to be really scientific, Okay, why don't you try and do two experiments, one with the salt and one without the salt. I look forward to hearing all about your wonderful flavoured ice creams when you come to join us in September. Hello, my name is Mr Mokhtari and I am Head of Design and Technology at the Hermitage Academy. Sometimes in design and technology we look at famous designers and engineers. And my question for you is about a French designer called Philippe Stark. Now he designed a product called Juicy Salif, which became quite a famous product and is well known today. But what was the product? What is it? What does it do? And approximately when did he design and make and release this product? Hi everyone, my name's Mrs. Jewel and I'm an English teacher at the Hermitage. Now, if you're anything like me, you've probably spent your time away from school doing an awful lot of reading. Now my next book is this one here. Okay, it's called 1599. And on the back, it tells me that this is all about a very famous playwright. This book is all about his very first year at the Globe Theatre. Now, what I want to know is who do you think this biography is about? 
and if you can work it out, can you name two of his plays? Good luck and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Hi everyone, just Mrs Bulmer here again. Just to say that this week marks the end of our transition quiz. Thank you very much for taking part. Um, the next steps are to submit all of your answers to the transition email address, which is transition at hermitageacademy.co.uk. So hopefully you've been making a note of your answers week on week. So send those in to us. Um, for people who have managed to, to take part in the full quiz, there will be a little certificate which you will receive um, in September. And for those of you who've taken part and managed to get all the correct answers, you'll also have a little prize in September. So thank you very much for being part of it. I mean, we really hope that you have enjoyed the quiz.